Hi everybody, it's Michelle here from onlinewithmichelle.com. I just got off an awesome training I wanna share with you because it really impacted me and hopefully will impact you too. So basically I was on a training of a leader in this industry who used to live out of his car and he now earns tens of millions of dollars in this industry and he was at a recent event and he shared that somebody had asked him, if you had to do it all over again, what would you do differently? And you know what he said? He said, I would have stepped up as a leader sooner. If I had known that stepping up as a leader would drastically improve my business. And what he means by that is, I think that a lot of us, when we're first starting out, don't really believe in ourselves. We don't really think of ourselves as a leader, right? And a lot of us make the decision, well, okay, I'll step up as a leader when I'm making a certain paycheck or if I have a certain number of people on my team. And the thing that I'm gonna share with you is when we make the decision to become a leader, our posture changes. Not only that, I'm gonna give you guys a couple of really good tips and an awesome thing to say to your prospects, okay? So the first tip I'm gonna give you is besides the fact that you wanna make the decision to be a leader is you are making the decision to step into your confidence. Now I'm gonna be sharing another video where I'm gonna give you some awesome tips on how to step into your confidence, but it's a decision, guys. You decide to step into your confidence, that's gonna attract people to you, okay? Number two, you need to understand that in this business, we're not in the selling business, we're in the sorting business. In my company, I know that I can physically change people's lives as well as financially. And so when I'm talking to people, if they're not interested in physically you know, improving their lives or financially improving their lives, then I move on. Same thing with you guys, there's no reason why you should be trying to sell anybody on your opportunity or your products, okay? It's a sorting business, okay? So that is the second tip I have for you. And the third tip, you guys, I love this, this is my favorite. When you when somebody watches an overview, okay, and they're finished, there's gonna be a large percentage of them that might be hesitant because deep down, they're wondering, can I do this and will you help me? So what? he did that drastically improved his closing rate that I'm gonna be instilling in all of mine as well, okay? Is after they're done with the overview, if you sense that there's any hesitancy, okay, if they're not like totally on fire and they're ready to get started, then a great thing to say is, I see that you're a little hesitant, but I want you to know something. I want you to know that if you decide to get into this business, if you decide to enroll, I will, I will commit to helping you. If you wanna make a little bit of money, I will help you make a little bit of money. If you wanna make a lot of money, I will help you make a lot of, a lot of money. If you wanna build an empire, strap on your shoes because I will build an empire with you. Because I will believe in you. I, you will give up on you before I will give up on you. <laughs> Isn't that awesome though? When you tell somebody that you believe in them and that you will help them, okay? But at the same time, you're not gonna hold their hand. You are letting them know that if they're willing to do the work, you are there to help them build a business, How whether it's just making a few dollars or building an empire. I just thought that was so powerful, guys. Let people know that you are there for them, not just assuming, but tell them, okay? When he started doing that, his close rate skyrocketed. So I'm just super excited to share that with you. Hope you got lots of value. If you did, leave me a comment or share this. And of course, know that you are meant for greatness. We'll chat with you later. See ya.